Hello YouTube and welcome to the what's in my bag episode or more precisely what do I take for a almost a year world tour because yes I want to step up a little bit and I'm not going to travel just for a few weeks I'm going to travel for almost a year and with the plan of visiting 30 countries so this is going to be amazing and I wanted to show you how I pack my stuff how I make my bag in order to have everything I need and everything that is required. Let's go! Okay, so first things first, if you are <laughs> noticing around me, it's kind of a mess because I'm actually leaving my apartment in the town of Lausanne and I'm bringing all of my stuff at my mom's place but my mom is also moving away in another place so this is a mess and that's why you might hear some noise my mom working uh, doing some boxes and cleaning the flat but I wanted first to show you the gears I'm taking with me what do I take electronically in order to make my videos in order to have everything I need uh, both socially and professionally on YouTube. The video might be wobbling a little bit, that's normal because I'm shooting on my phone because I wanted to show you what kind of camera I'm using. So, all you have here is everything I have technologically speaking. I'm gonna start from left to right. So this is the tripod I'm using with my camera here. Um, I'm not probably gonna take it with me because it takes place um, it's usually a bit tricky and I realized I'm not using it a lot, but uh, whenever, for example, I go outside here and make some astro photography, I always use it if I want to record um, some nice footage, I use it, but I come to realize that 90% of the time I just don't use it. So I'm going to leave it here for today and well for today for this year and I'm going to talk about what I'm going to take with me. So this is my camera. This is a Fujifilm X-H1 with a, a 16-55 uh, lens, which uh, is really cool. And so this camera here, the box of it, was at the time, I, I don't remember very well, but it was when they decided that for commercial reason, they only allowed uh, films to be recorded um, until 15 minutes so I cannot record like 15 minutes and 30 seconds in a row I've never had to use it but um, I would have to the, the max duration is 15 minutes I know that in the future um, cameras that got released this limit got broken up so now it's fine but this one I can only record 15 minutes in a row which doesn't annoy me but this is something I had to know and you have to know if you want to buy the same one this makes amazing pictures, this makes amazing movies and obviously uh, it's a tool so you have to know how it works and I'm definitely not an expert but I think I've learned so much stuff uh, on the road due to just practicing. With this I use the Rode Mic Plus which is amazing because you just simply plug it on it and it has this plastic-ish uh, support which does not make the sound vibration of the camera when it's on apply on this so you don't hear the actual camera and it has a lot of settings that work perfectly well and this just does the job it's amazing for this if uh, i want to use this i have to use memory cards obviously whoops stay there baby i have two 64 gigabytes uh memory cards which I constantly use and whenever they are full, whenever I've recorded what I wanted to, I just put them on those hard drives. So this one here is two terabytes and this is four terabytes. So I have six terabytes and this is more than enough um, for what I want to do. So whenever I record something, I put it from here to both of here. So I do a double copy and uh, that way I'm sure this is useful those cables out of the cables to plug those hard drives into my computer. Um, when I want to work on my computer and um, like editing videos, I use those, whoop, those um, cabled earphones because 
the classic earpods the bluetooth doesn't work well on windows 11 it looks basic shit so i had to use cable ones but i cannot use it on my phone right here because this is the samsung galaxy f e s 20 and the jack outlet is gone so now if i continue we have here three usb uh, keys because uh i sometimes had to put documents from here files on those and print those in printing shops whenever i found them so i found useful to have those uh not maybe uh three just too much but i'm just gonna take one and or two and it's gonna do the, do the work um if i go down this is a usb key that plugs this in bluetooth but i as i said um bluetooth is not good so i have this little key here that works perfectly fine with this but if this one ever breaks i can um upload the software on my computer and use the bluetooth uh let's go down i have a lock with the keys well those are also my apartment keys um this is extremely useful if you want to lock your bag if you want to go to hostels if you want to go to places where you need to lock stuff um this is the memory card you it's small but it's inside of this this is a drone and the drone is in the box because i'm not gonna use it unfortunately i'm really sad about this because um unfortunately a lot of countries i'm going to do not allow drones this is bullshit because i think it would have made amazing images but security you are not in your country maybe your country allow drones this is not the case for every country for example india they do not allow drones and the rule is pretty recent so yeah unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to take it with me so this memory card i'm not gonna use it at all um if we go down this is a universal adapter so both of them are extremely useful on the road because i have the swiss type as you can see here with three metal thing and so i can plug the three here and this in almost everything and if i ever need i have the universal outlet here so basically basically whenever i need to plug something i will be able to this which is obviously very important if I do not have electricity or if I do not have uh, anywhere to plug and recharge my phone, I have this big baby here, it's quite heavy. This is a DigiPower external battery. Um, this helps a lot because it can charge my phone up to eight times. It takes quite some more to charge up, but eight times is quite fucking useful. And usually uh, I just like empty half of it and then charge it overnight. And this is extremely useful. This is a tripod I just plug under my camera here, which is extremely useful whenever I want to uh, record some stuff. And you can slip this out. And so whoop, it's quite hard with one hand, but there we go. And there we go. So really useful as well. This is a coat for my bag. This is an ND filter. You just plug it here in front of it. And this is kind of, um, how can I say it? Sunglasses for your camera, which in some occasion can be extremely useful. This is a pen, as you can see. Um, extremely useful because um, during COVID, especially a lot of uh, airports ask you to fill papers up. And it's also useful to have one. The mouse, as I said, the computer, it's a Lenovo, the cheapest one I had because um well they had because the only criterion i had is can it fit my bag i'm gonna show you later my bag yes it can fit my bag it can fit it perfectly it's perfectly protected so just a must to have um it's not a beast it's only 700 bucks but this is the cheapest but uh, the gamers will know that on a 700 bucks a computer you cannot do much but i still can play video games i still can edit videos and it works perfectly fine for me uh to charge my phone this i take it with this baby because i like to listen to music when i'm in hotels or on the beach with friends or whatever so music is important to keep cheering up and to charge it um this is a usb-c to usb-c if i want to charge my phone from here to my phone or i can just plug the usb normal to usb-c from here to my phone 
This is to charge up my, my, my camera. I have an external battery, another one. The first one is already inside, and this is the second one. This is to charge up this. This is a box that came with the bag where I can put all of the cables here. This is a, a static cam I use on my phone whenever I want to do some uh, hyperlapse, time lapse, or just record some nice stuff uh, while being steady. And those three babies, the three babies, my three passport I'm taking. I'm gonna take this one. I'm not gonna. Sh I'm not sure if I'm gonna take those. Swiss, uh, American, and French. I'm very, very, very lucky to have those because those are the almost the most three powerful pay passport in the world. But I'm gonna take it this because I can go pretty much everywhere. We are neutral. And so this principle, I cannot go to Iran without a guide. And United States of America, they are not liked in every country in the world, whereas we are. So this can lead me to problems. And this, uh, I'm just don't use it. I use it in Israel because uh, they, I was afraid that if they stamped it, I would not be able to go to Iraq or Syria or Algeria uh, because I have the Israeli stamp. So I use this one, but they did not give me the Israeli stamp. They just, um, I'm going to gave me whoop, this card here and which allows me to enter and leave Israel. So this is all the gears I'm taking with me, not the lamp obviously, LOL. Um, and what about the bag here? This is a lower pro bag, it has done me very, very well. This is a gift one of my uh, students made. Uh, she is uh, six years old and she was passionate about Harry Potter and so I am. So she asked me what my house was. It was a Hufflepuff. No, Hufflepuff. No, not Hufflepuff. Um, Ravenclaw. And she made me at the color of Ravenclaw. And it really helped me because I can just open it. Um, this is the bag. It has absolutely everything I need. I put my computer and all the important papers here. The mat as well. I go here, put the steady cam, And here I can put the chargers, my mouse, and the little bag you've been seeing. In here, I put the camera, um, the ND filter, the mic, and the bag from the other side. Here, the passport, the pen, the lock, and everything I need. USB as well, uh, USB keys. And this is where I put um, the power bank, the, the coat for my bag, uh, my wallet, and this is the most important stuff. About this there is the rule i have to obey i have to think about it all the time it's called the trinity rule do you have all three the three most powerful thing you need in order to be able to travel those are passport because otherwise you won't be able to travel anywhere with this without this i mean the phone just behind you and my wallet. It's somewhere. <laughs> no, 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 I, I know it's somewhere. Um, if you have all three, you will be able to travel correctly. So ideally, what I do is I wear the tech bag like this in front of me. Passport, computer, or well, computer or just phone and the wallet inside here. So this is the perfect way to travel. You have this in front of you, you can hide it like that, nobody can steal it from you. And you have your clothes bag behind you, so it locks your shoulders, so nobody can just grab it. Okay, if they want, they have to cut it, but you are in front of them, so you can just run and just walk like that with everything you need and you will be perfectly fine. So this um, never, ever, Ever leaves me even in hotels I keep all the time this with me I'm not comfortable at all leaving it unlooked um, at so this is the tech part and sorry if this was long but I think it was important to just tell you this I'm gonna show you later on the clothes bag is gonna be much faster and this is how I go to every country in the world So this is now the clothes time. 
You might hear some bells ringing outside because this is a Catholic village and they put some bells in the church. Anyway, this is going to be much faster, but this is the close all I'm taking. So this is not much actually because I'm only taking four pairs of underwears, four pairs of socks, one beautiful arch enemy, um, hoodie if I'm ever called. One long pants, it's important to take long pants because in some religious places, they want to allow you if you have your knees showing. So if you're just wearing a short, it's not gonna be working. And so this is important to take one. Also, if it's a bit cold outside, this might be just as helpful. This is a mix between this and this because it's a short, but you can unzip in the middle and transform it into a long or short uh, trousers. This is regular shorts and this is another one. So I have actually four and which is even slightly too much. I have three uh, t-shirt, one hard or cafe, one equilibrium, oh my baby. And this is all, I have one stupid shirt because I find it ugly and I find it beautiful at the same time. This is all the clothes I'm taking. I'm taking like only this, four, four, one, four and three. So this is all I'm, I'm taking. I'm, I do not take much because this is not helpful. Every country in the world has washing machines. Even in Afghanistan, I just kindly asked my hotel if they could wash it for me and they washed it clean. So this is, you don't need much. You're not going to a country to just enjoy the cloud, cloud you're wearing. So this is not how it works. Unless this is what you want to do, then you will need 10 suitcases of it. But just helpful less is more less is more so take as little as you can and then you will be fine as well so this is all of this is going to fit inside it so it looks big but it's just widely spread so um this is a 60 liter osprey rook no 50 sorry 50 liters osprey rook 50 um this is extremely helpful as you can see, it's not big. It's not big, it's in the size of one and a half pillow. So um, this is the perfect size because you don't need to check it in uh, the plane. So it doesn't go underneath, it just goes in the cases above your head. So this is exactly what I need because it costs so much to put it under it. And the same for the bag. Um, I just put it under uh, my feet and this is perfectly fine. Nobody has ever told me anything about this. About uh, the rest, I just forgot in the tech bag, uh, wireless headphones and a battery for my mouth. This is my baby. I've been having it since I was two. Um, this is wristbands. Those are blindfold stuff. Look at this beautiful, I bought it in Tokyo. Sunglasses because uh, those are regulated to my eyesight because I'm fucking blind. This is another normal glasses because if, you have seen the um, Albania episode. You noticed that in Croatia, I got assaulted. And then I, they destroyed my glasses. So I take another one just in case. This is extremely helpful since it is a bunch of earplugs. So I have like 20 of them. This is a survival blanket, extremely helpful as well. This is toilet bag. And I have like toothbrush, uh, wristbands, comb, and perfume and stuff. This is a Uno game card if I want to play with people. This is a microfiber towel, extremely useful because it dries almost instantly and it's really portable, so carryable, amazing. And those are the big stuff. This is uh, the medicine I'm taking because I'm going to countries where health is not guaranteed. So I'm going to be, for example, like to um, Papua New Guinea probably. And this uh, will tell me that if I ever get malaria, paludism, this is gonna be saving my life. So this in accordance to the yellow uh, small card that uh, tells everyone how much vaccine I got. I have to take this whenever we I will be going to red countries with a uh, high risk of malaria. If I ever get malaria, I'm gonna take this until I'm trying to find a hospital. And this is an auto test. I can just... Uh, make my finger bleed and test it and it will tell me if I have malaria or not. Those are contact lenses. I'm just probably gonna just take one if my eyes are dry because I don't wear them much. This is sleeping pills uh, because I have a very uh, nightmare sleep. 
toothpick um, cream from the feet if they are hurting. This is a uh, small coat for this. Really helpful. Mask because COVID is not over. Same for the feet. And that's pretty much all. I have the eternal cap if I ever take any. And sleeping bag as compact as possible. And this is a, a floatable and inflatable pillow if I ever need to sleep outside. And that's pretty much it. That's all. Also, a plastic bag is a must have. And don't worry, you're not gonna kill the planet because you're gonna have to keep it all the time with you. And the simple reason of this is because whenever you have dirty clothes, you just put them inside. So that way, in your bag, it's shifted, you know? It's different where you have your um, clean clothes and your dirty clothes. That way you don't mess everything up and we don't have to sniff every, <laughs> everything in order to find if this is dirty or not. So this is a small detail, but this can save quite some time. So I'm just gonna make a time lapse of me packing my bag. And as you can see, this is not much I need. So yeah, this is all I take. I mean, a wall tool it seems a lot, but it's not. The less is more because you don't need more. Uh, if you take more, it's gonna be heavy, it's gonna be impractical and you're gonna hurt your back. And yeah, that's all I need. As little as possible. And thanks for watching this video. See you soon. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Raphael White, and if you like my travel videos, you can follow me here as I'm traveling to every country in the world. Oh,